Hi everyone, it's Stephanie Hensley again. So I recently received a comment on one of my tutorials asking for help drawing chain, which is a very difficult thing to draw. So I'll try to help as much as I can right now. The first couple of styles that I'm going to draw are top views of a chain. So looking down at the top of a shoe. Um, so it's going to be a little bit more flat than if I drew it kind of going around in a side view. Okay, so we'll start with the top view first. I'm doing a three circle chain. So the first thing I like to do is start with the one on the left side first. And I don't make them perfect circles because when chain links link into each other, there's a little bit of distortion that happens. So as you can see, it's a little bit pointy, so it's kind of a square circle. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to make another circle, just offset a little bit, a couple of millimeters apart from the original circle. And you draw very lightly because you will have to erase because the circles overlap. Okay, so now you know where you need to start the second circle. I like to start in the corner because that's the trickiest part where they connect. So I start there and then I draw another circle, square circle again. Okay, so now I know where to start my third circle, which is right here. Which one goes over which one, I just make the circles as is and I just keep it light so that I can erase later on. So now we have three links that are roughly the same size, which is a good start. Then you have to think about how chains work. Okay, so let's call this ring one, ring two, and ring three. So the top of ring two will overlap over the top of ring one and then under this part on ring one. Okay, so then I'll erase accordingly. So if this ring's going over the top of this ring, then ring one is hidden from view right here. Now if ring one is going over the top of ring two down here, then I erase ring two's lines. Okay, so you can already see it's coming together. You can tell that something's happening where they're interlocked. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So ring three is going to overlap over the top of ring two. So the, the lines of ring two, I erase those. And then down here, I erase the lines of ring three. So again, whichever ring overlaps the other, you erase the one that's being overlapped. So if ring three overlaps ring two, you erase the lines of ring two. With an ornament, usually you need some, some kind of tab to hold the ornament onto the shoe. So I just add a couple of tabs to the sides. Okay, just a couple of straight lines. Um, and then I erase the lines of the ring. I'm going to ink this in right now, and I'm also going to do shading, which is the best part of the whole thing. It really helps it pop out. So I have my Micron O2 again. And I'll just start, again, smooth lines. Then I just make sure all the lines are touching. Because when they don't, sometimes it gets a bit confusing. It looks a little sloppy. And I just draw on this guy. Now I'm going to erase, and then we can start on the shading. Okay, we are all erased. I 
as I've said in my other tutorials, whenever a strap kind of comes over something else, you'll want to make a shadow underneath on the thing that it's overlapping. Okay, so I'll do a, a shadow here. Okay, I also shade in here. This is the back of this is the back of this strap. Okay. So there. And then under. Another thing is, is because chains are usually round, the links on the chain are usually round, you want to make the shadow in a curved way, not just a straight line like this. You want to make it a little curved on the end. It just gives it more of a indication that the chain link is rounded. Okay, so I'll start first with the line, and then I'll just kind of make a little bit of a curve here. So I'll do the same thing here. And here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you chain links are more, much more of a diamond shape than, than these rounded ones. Again, start with, start with your general outline. Try to make sure that the lines are parallel with each other. Start here. Actually, I'm going to do a guideline. So I don't have to redraw anything. I'm just going to erase like I did last time. So again, ring two is going over ring one. So we'll erase ring one's lines here. And then ring one's lines are going over ring two. So we'll erase ring two's lines there. And then ring Three's lines go over ring two, so we'll erase ring two's lines. Okay, okay now instead of just um, making tabs like I did here, I will make a loop. On the end of both sides. we'll do a small chain that kind of connects it to the shoe. So with small chain, especially when you're drawing quickly, um, I find that it's just easiest to a thin, thin oval like that, and then a ring, a circle, then a thin oval again, and a circle, or an, let's do an oval. And they must overlap. Okay, so we'll do the same thing on this side. I just leave it like that. I don't really draw the other line that would complete to make it um, a solid piece. I just kind of leave it like that because you get the idea. Okay, now I'm gonna ink in. Okay, now I'm going to erase. Now when I erase with a kneaded eraser, I like to hold onto the paper on both sides, like this. This helps so that the paper doesn't drag when you're erasing, and you can really get in there and rub vigorously if you need to. And sometimes I like to hold the paper on one side and then just drag my eraser. I think it just gets all the rest of whatever's on there out. So again, we're gonna shade as before. Let's say these are squared off links, they're not rounded. So I'll just do a straight line here, there, here, and there. That's that.